Hi everyone, welcome to the video lecture series of Theory of Automata and Formal Languages. We are into unit number two where we are learning about regular expression. Uh, in my previous video lectures, we have talked about uh, the introduction to regular expression. We have also discussed how to convert a regular expression to a finite automata. Okay, we have also seen uh, if a regular language is given to you, how to convert that language into regular expression. These are very important topics. Uh, if anyone of you uh, who is viewing this particular video, uh, if you have not gone through those lectures, then I would suggest that you can go back and you can watch those videos and then you can start off with this topic. Though we are not having any, uh, like, uh, you can say, uh, connection with the previous uh, lectures. Yes, we are having few connections. Like if you talk about a regular expression, how to convert it into finite automata that is being required because the same vice versa process we are will be studying now. Okay. So I hope uh, it will be clear to everyone and uh, let us start with the session. So uh, we'll be first telling you, we'll be discussing two different uh, techniques or you can say algorithm or you can say method and uh, with the help of which you will be able to convert a finite automata to a regular expression. The first we'll be looking into the name, uh, the method known as state elimination method. And here we'll be looking into how to uh, get a regular expression by eliminating the states one after another, just keeping the initial and the final one. Definitely we need that. Without that, you won't be able to get the string, correct? So uh, let us start off with the algorithm method steps, okay? Okay, so if I talk about the initial step, uh, the initial step, uh, you need to follow three steps actually. Uh, in the first step, what you need to do is that you have to check that the initial state should not have any incoming edges. Okay, so as I have taken an example where you can check it out that this initial state is this is an initial state, right? Initial state should not have any incoming edges. See, this is an incoming edge coming. So how to eliminate this? So this is not accepted while <coughs> constructing a uh, while while uh, conversion uh, uh, conversion of a finite automata to a regular expression okay so you need to eliminate this by making this initial state one more initial state like a, like a new initial state and from that initial state you have to make this as a normal state how from that initial state you have to take a epsilon transition to this particular state this is this state is nothing but this one okay and you will be getting a new income uh, initial state where you can see no incoming edges are there Epsilon transition means nothing but no transition. That means these two states are almost equivalent to each other. So this step we can do it. So if you get in this kind of scenario, then you have to convert it into this scenario. Okay. Moving to the step number two. Step number two goes with the final state. The final state should not have any outgoing edges. This is the important thing. That means uh, here also you were, uh, we are having a final state which is having an incoming edge. Uh, later on you can discuss you can you can pause the video and you can try for this I've taken one more example see initial state there is no incoming edges this is perfectly fine because in step number two you have to check uh, you have to initially check that the initial uh, initial state doesn't have any incoming edges so this is not having any incoming edges now looking into the final state there is an outgoing edge correct so how to eliminate this you have to make this final state as a normal state again and then from that normal state, you have to take a epsilon transition to a new final state. Clear? And the same uh, structure will be there with this state only. But this state, as it was a final state, you have to make this final state as a new, as a normal state. And from this, you have to take an epsilon transition to a new state. So if I talk about this one, you have to make this as a normal state. And from here, you have to take one more state as an epsilon transition. And then that we have to make as a final state. Correct? So this is done. Just you need to check these two scenarios at first and then after that you have to, uh, 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 apart from the initial and final state, you have to eliminate other states as well one by one so that uh, finally you got a particular initial state and a final state with one transition. Okay, so let us check with an example then it will be very much clear how to work with this. Work with this. Okay, so let us take an example. So if we move into the first example, the first example says like this. Uh, we are having three states a b c first step i have to check that in initial state is having any incoming edge okay, sorry for the disturbance okay now uh, i will be looking in here that step number one initial state there should not be having any incoming edges this is not having any incoming edges you can see here so this is perfectly fine so step one is done in uh, exam uh, while writing any exam uh, answers okay if you are attempting any university exams 
then you have to write down each and every steps. Okay, step number one says that initial state should not have any incoming edge as this diagram doesn't have, so we don't need to follow it, all right? Then step number two says that in, yeah, the final state should not have any outgoing edge. So this also, there is no in, any outgoing edge from the final state. So step number two is also okay. Now what you need to do, you need to eliminate one uh, all the states, uh, other states apart from initial and final, one after another. So you can look into this diagram. This is a very simple diagram where we are having only one initial state and a final state. Apart from that, only one state is there, B. So I just need to eliminate B. So I just need to eliminate state B. Correct? If I eliminate B, now look into this. Uh, if I if I remove this state, so this transition will be one and A dot C will be always there. But in between there, we are having a B to the power star. That means B is a self loop, right? So directly I can draw like this. I'll be having A as the initial state and I'm eliminating B. So there is no fire, no more any, uh, no more uh, steps you can follow. Just after eliminating B, A will be there, A dot, then B whole to the power star, then C. So this is the final regular expression. Therefore, the regular expression will be what? A, B star, C. See, this is as simple as that. This is a simple diagram. Now we'll be looking into some complicated diagrams as well. So look into question number two. I think one is clear to everyone. Okay, so look into question number two. Now question number two is a little bit of complicated one. It's not a complicated, you have to uh, think in a different way. <laughs> okay, so if you look into the initial state, yes, step number one, we are having uh, initial state. Uh, step number one is what? Initial step, state uh, should not have any incoming edges. So it is having an incoming edge. So I have to make a new initial state. So step number one, what it says, initial state, I have to make one more. Suppose I have made as, uh, as uh, S as the initial state, okay, S is the initial state. From S, I have to make a uh, epsilon transition to A, correct? And A, I have to make as a normal state. And I am have already having a state, final state as B, correct? And I have to make the same transition. The structure, you need to change the structure, you just need to make a new state. So step number one is done. Now let's move to step number two. Step number two says that final state should not have any outgoing edge. So this final state is having an outgoing edge. So what to do? I have to make this as a normal state. So S was the initial state. This was an epsilon transition to A state A. And B I have to make as a normal state. And from B I have to take one more state as a final state. So let it be suppose F. Okay. And from A, there is a transition for 0. And from B, there is a transition to A as 1. Clear? So this is as simple as that. Okay. Now what you need to do? You need to eliminate other states apart from initial and final one after another. So you can take any one of it. So if I suppose I take um, state A. So I am trying to eliminate state number. State A. So I'm trying to eliminate this. So if I eliminate this, look into the transition now. See, <clears throat> first from S, there is a transition. First, you have to check with it S. From S, there is a transition. Through A, it is going to B. So definitely, I have to make a transition from S to B. Okay, so let me make this. So S, I'm having a transition to B. And that is nothing but epsilon dot zero. Epsilon dot zero, according to basic identities, it is it means that is equivalent to zero only. Correct. So epsilon in regular expression we generally think of as one. Okay. Always keep in mind. So epsilon dot zero. That means nothing but. So I'm writing right now epsilon dot zero. I'm writing over here so that you won't be getting the uh, like a confusion. Okay. From B, there is an already an epsilon to where to a final state. Say F. Clear? Now, one more transition is left out at B. You can see here, from B, there is a transition for 1 to A and again from A to B, there is a transition for 0. Now, if you think of it logically, then this is what? This is a self loop where the position, where the, uh, like, uh, the, uh, the transition will be what? 1, 0. 
see one dot zero. This is two trans uh, two different transitions, right? So definitely in place of B, I have to make a self loop, and self loop will be what one dot zero. See one dot zero. Both are different transitions. So as clear as that. So we have eliminated A successfully. Now we are left out with state B. So in step number four, what we have to eliminate? We have to eliminate state state B. We have to eliminate. Correct. Here I have eliminated state A. Here I have to eliminate state B. So if I eliminate state B, is as simple as that earlier one, just like the previous one. What we did A B star C. The same concept will be coming over here. Eps, uh, epsilon dot zero means zero only. Zero one zero whole to the power star dot epsilon. And finally, answer will be zero one zero one to one zero whole to the power star will be the final regular expression. But I will show it here. So therefore, the final answer will be from initial state S. There is a transition till. F and this will be your zero dot one zero whole to the power star dot epsilon. That means the final regular expression will be what zero one zero whole to the power star. So this is the final answer that I have got after eliminating this uh, after uh, eliminating few of the states based on the uh, state elimination method algorithm and then I find the final regular expression for us. Okay, hope it is clear to you all, everyone, and we'll be looking to few more examples, two or three more examples, so that it will be very much clear to everyone. So that you can check it out in the next video where I will be showing uh, the three to uh, two to three more examples and based on this only. Okay, after that we will be looking into another method for conversion of finite automata to regular expression, and that is known as by using Arden's theorem. So this is a very important theorem by which you can also do does the same thing. A conversion of a finite uh, automata to a regular expression by using Arden's theorem that we'll be discussing after the next video. Okay, thank you for watching the video. I think it is clear to everyone. If you're having any suggestion or any queries, you can comment down below, and uh, we'll be uh, also updating all the videos of the entire theory of automata one after another in a sequential order. And for every unit, there will be an introductory session where I will explain what and all topics we are going to cover. And that will give you a trailer for the entire unit. Okay. Thank you for watching the video.